Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you add product filters in a WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is Dynamic Ajax Product Filters for WooCommerce. This plugin has free as well as premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. Using this plugin, you can also create multiple product filters for different pages. There are different designs and layouts which you can select from. And here you will see the list of features of this plugin. Advanced filtering, ready for use on mobile devices, filter products by anything, powerful backend, lightweight and fast, price ranges and sliders for attributes. So you can also use attributes for the product filter. Hide or show empty and filtered values. The pro version of this plugin will cost you only $39 per year for a single website in which you will get all the premium features. If you want it for five different websites, it will cost you only $89 per year. And if you want it for unlimited websites, it will cost you $189 per year for unlimited websites. And you will also get 30 days money back guarantee. Here you will see a list of all the features available in the free and the premium version. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now let's go to the website. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. And on this website, now we are going to install the free product filter plugin. So let's go to dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for dynamic ajax product filters for woocommerce and you will see the plugin here if you do not see this plugin you can go to the website and download the free plugin from here i'll give you the link in the description box now let's go back and install this plugin and click on activate all right so the plugin is installed and it is activated in the left hand panel you will see the option product filters click on it and you will be on the dashboard of this plugin the first option is form manage from where you can enable or disable the filter options. The first option is show categories. So it will add product categories as a filter option. Then we have show attributes, which is enabled. Show tags is also enabled. Price range is also enabled. Show rating is also enabled. Show search that is also enabled. Below that you will see use URL based filter and there are different options with query string the second option is with permalinks which is not available for the free version and the third option is with ajax i'm going to select the first option and i'll show you how does this work then we have update filter options enable this option to dynamically update filter options it is currently enabled and show loader is also enabled let's click on save changes now the next option is form style and from here you can customize the form the first style is for the categories and you will see different options here you can select check boxes or you can select a drop down let's do one thing let's add this product filter option on the shop page so that you will understand all these options on this website i'm using the astra theme this is the current layout of the shop page now on this shop page i'm going to add a sidebar in the left hand side and for that, I'm going to customize the layout. So let's go to customize option here. I'm using Astra theme. If you're using any other theme, then you can customize the layout of the shop page based on the theme that you are using. When you go to customize option, you will see the WooCommerce. Go to WooCommerce and then go to product catalog, which is nothing but the shop page. And currently no sidebar is selected. I'm going to select left-hand sidebar so that we can add a sidebar in the left-hand side like this. Let's click on publish. Why sidebar? Because it looks good in the sidebar. All right, let's close this one and let's go to shop page and let's refresh it. All right, you will see we have a sidebar here and in this sidebar, we are going to add the product filter. Now let's go to dashboard, go to appearance and, and go to widgets. In the Astra theme, there is a sidebar widget for the WooCommerce, which you will see here, WooCommerce sidebar. And in this sidebar, we are going to add the block, which is dynamic Ajax. So search for dynamic Ajax filter. We have selected the block and in the right hand panel, you will see the settings of this block. So you will see filter type will be all product selector, pagination selector. I'm going to keep it as it is. Use custom design, which is not selected to no. And 12 products will be shown per page. 
Then we have form manage in which you will see product categories, tags, price range, rating, search box, color and size. Now on this demo website, I'm using color and size as attributes. If I go to WooCommerce products, I have some demo products here. Let's go to categories and you will see these categories are created, which will be used as product filter options. If I go to attributes, I have color and size attributes. If I go to tags, I do not have any tags for this WooCommerce website. In your case, you may have tags, different categories, brands and attributes. And on this demo WooCommerce website, I do not have any brand added. All right, so let's go back to widgets and I have all these options selected. I'm going to move the position. Search box will be at the top. All right, let's click on update. Let's go back to shop page and let's refresh it. Now in the left hand panel, you will see the product filter is added. This is for the size attribute. Then we have color, price range, rating and category. Now let's go back to product filters option here and go to form style and you will see the checkbox is selected for the categories option product category this is the checkbox and you will see different styles here for the checkboxes so i'm going to select this one and let's click on save changes then select configure style for color and for the color we have selected this option you can also select different options right now the color display style is this one Let's select a circle, which is only for pro version. Let's try this one color without border. And here you will see we have four different colors which will be shown. So I'm going to save the changes. Next option will be for the size. Select size. Instead of drop down, we are going to select check boxes again. This is for the pro version radio box. Let's select the radio check and save the changes. Then for the price, you will see one option is available, which is a slider. And for that, there are two different styles, minimum, maximum. You will see the boxes here. If I go here, you will see these two boxes. Let's save the changes. And for the rating, we have one option and two different styles. And this one is selected. Let's select this one, save the changes. So there are different layouts and styles that you can select from. If you are using pro version, then you will get additional layouts and display styles. Let's go to shop page and let's refresh it. And now you will see for the size, we have radio boxes instead of check boxes. And this is color, which is without a border. Now this one does not look good because we have the white background. So we will need to change it with border. So let's go to colors and select the option color with border save the changes let's refresh it now you will see the white color with border price range is there this is for the rating the layout that we selected and this is for the category now let's filter the product let's select color black and it will show the products with the black color let's uncheck it let's select medium size and you will see the product with medium size you can search the product from here now let's filter the product by category let's select this one evening dresses and you will see the products in that category only let's uncheck it and select another category active wear and you will see the product in that category only then you can select filter using a rating however this is a demo woocommerce website and i do not have any rating here now let's say i do not want a ratings option so i can go back to widgets select the product filter and disable the rating option and you can also disable tags option all right let's click on update now let's go back and refresh it and you will see that the rating and the tag option is no longer available for the filter you can also filter the product based on the price range now let's say i want to add a product filter on another page so let's go to dashboard i have some demo pages here let's go to pages and i have one sample page so let's open the sample page and i want to add product filter option on this sample page so let's go to the sample page and click on the plus sign here or here and search for dynamic ajax 
filter select this filter option and again you can customize layout from the right hand panel just like what we did for the shop page from here you can manage the filter form whichever option is not required you can disable them from here you can rearrange all the filter options once done you can click on publish or save and the product filter will be added on that page so you can create multiple product filters and you can add them on different pages and each filter can be customized individually now i do have the pro version of the plugin so i'm going to install the pro version of the plugin so let's go to dashboard go to plugins and click on add new plugin i have it downloaded so i'm going to upload the plugin and install it click on activate plugin so the pro version is installed and it is activated let's go to product filters option and let's go to plugin license and here you need to enter the license key once you enter the license key it will activate the pro version of the plugin now let's go back to form style and as we are using the pro version we can use different layout and styles for the product filter let's try this one color circle and save the changes this is for the color attribute let's go back to shop page and let's refresh it and you will see new layout for the color let's go back at the top you will see another option that is seo and permalink setup the first option is use attribute type in permalink which is enabled and you will see permalink prefix for the category it is going to use cata for the tags it is going to use tags for the price it is going to use price if i go to shop page and if i filter them using category you will see permalink option here cata is for the category three different categories are shown here and you will see the price range filter option is also applied now let's go back and enable seo which is enabled already and this feature make filter links indexable for best seo is available for the pro version only and it is going to generate the seo title and description automatically by using these short codes let's say i want only the page title and attribute prefix and values based on these values it is going to add seo title below that you will see seo description which is also created automatically i'm going to use the page title attribute prefix and value and this will be seo keyword let's save the changes let's refresh it and you will see now the page title is changed automatically so this seo feature is available in the pro version only then go to advanced settings and you will see different advanced settings these settings are available for the pro version you can import and export settings using the pro version of the plugin let's go to form manage uh, let's see what do we have here use url based filter is set to with query string now we can select with permalink so let's select this option and click on save changes let's see how does this work let's go back to shop page and refresh it and you will see this filter is enabled let's filter this and now you will see a different url structure is used you will see the filters then category and these categories are selected and price range so now it is using the filter url slug based on the permalinks you will see like this brand size color here you will see price category if you filter using color you will see that here color this option is available for the pro version only so it is very easy to add a product filter option in a WooCommerce website using the free plugin. If you want advanced features, then you can go for the pro version of the plugin, which will cost you only $39 per year for a single website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.